everyone this is Asma Khali from Cyberpanel and in today's video we are going to be discussing why your WordPress site is slow and how you can fix that problem. Now with the passage of time as you enter more and more content in on your website or you get more and more visitors your WordPress site tends to get slower. So it actually matters a lot since the speed of your WordPress site is going to determine its ranking in Google searches and other search engine searches. So it's better to have a really speedy site. So essentially your content will not matter if your WordPress site is slow. So even if you have like really high quality content but your WordPress site is slow, it's going to affect the rankings of your WordPress site. And of course a sluggish WordPress site is going to affect uh, the morale of your viewers and it's going uh, to make them very annoyed and they tend to leave a web WordPress site much more quicker if your WordPress site is slow. So it's better to have a fast responsive WordPress site. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can diagnose that problem and then how you can fix it up. So uh, without further ado, let's just jump straight to the video. Okay guys, so first of all, we're going to diagnose our website, uh, our WordPress site to check is it slow and how is it slow. So you can do that very easily using GT metrics. So simply enter uh, your GT metrics site. And in your GT metrics site, enter your site's URL. Just copy this. and start the testing process. So this is going to give you a lot of information about your site essentially. So let's just check that out. So as you guys can see, it's already starting to go through our site, check it out. Now this is a brand new site, it doesn't have any content in it so of course the speed is going to be really good so right off the bat you guys can see uh, on GT metrics like when you scroll down you will be able to see the summary of uh, the scan that was just concluded by the GT metrics it's showing you your page details the top issues over here and of course when it's going to give you your, your top issues you can go and fix this up Next, you can go into your performance tab and in your performance tab, it's essentially going to t tell you uh, what kind of speed you're dealing with. So what is it and what's the major issues in your uh, site speed? So right off the bat, you can see that GT metrics is basically giving you a lot of information. Okay, next is that you can simply go into your WordPress site, go into your appearance, your themes, and you can deactivate your theme and then go to GT metrics, check it up. And if the uh, speed has improved, it means that your theme was the one that was conflicting with the speed. In the same way, go into your plugins and just deactivate each and every one of the themes and check the speed uh, on GT metrics every single time. And you'll be able to see which plugin is causing that uh, speed issues. And of course, there are so many plugins in the market for one single issue. You can just simply swipe that plugin then. All right. Next is you can use loader.io and check out the speed of your site, the loading speed of your site. Uh, we already have done a video on it. You can check that out from the link. And this, uh, you can also implement an application performance monitoring tool. For example, I have QD monitor over here. And in QD monitor, you can just simply click on queries and it's going to give you a lot of information. It's going to tell you which query is using how much time and you will be able to see uh, that which query is taking more time than necessary. So basically it's an APM and you, it's going to give you a lot of information again. So this is how you can diagnose how uh, your WordPress site is slow. So now let's check out how we can uh, basically uh, use this information to our advantage and fix our WordPress site. 
okay so first of all uh, what you guys can do is you can simply do http uh, redirection with cyber panel it's super easy to do that i'll just show you quickly how you can do that simply go into your cyber panel account from here click on uh, websites click on list websites it's going to show you the whole list of your websites basically all right so once you have your list of websites so you may have a lot of uh, sites on one server once you uh, come onto this page click on manage against your website and when you click on manage it's going to redirect you to the basically the management of this uh, wordpress site uh, of this uh, sites page okay so once you come onto this management page just scroll down into configurations and click on rewrite tool uh, rewrite rules and over here select a template that is force http into https and once you're happy with that click on save rewrite rules super simple to do that super simple to do your http redirection using cyber panel all right so next what you can do is you can get a really good cache uh, with cache plugins for example with cyber panel by default you get uh, ls cache or lightspeed cache which is which is an amazing amazing plugin i'm going to show you that using this simple plugin you can enhance the speed of your website so much so simply click on lightspeed cache and click on your dashboard so in your dashboard is going to give you a lot of information of course so first of all click on cdn so if you're using cloudflare you don't do you don't need to do anything in this section but if you're using some other um, cdn management uh, it's better to enter the required information on this page and of course save it so in your CDN section, you need to enter your CDN URL. Now you don't have to do this if you're using Cloudflare. Uh, so it's super simple. It's going to bump up the speed of your website a lot comparatively to other sites. So using LS Cache, you can simply uh, configure your CDN a little bit more, a little bit more speedier. Next, simply click on Cache and in Cache tab, you need to enable it so i have already enabled this one but by default it is disabled you can enable it uh, and then check out which other stuff that you want to cache and of course if you're using a mobile version of your website you it's better to just simply turn this on the cache mobile scroll down you're happy with everything click on save changes so it's going to start caching your site all right in the same way, when you click on image optimization, it is so good to optimize your images since a lot of those images, uh, you don't need every single image uh, to be of high quality. Sometimes you can go along with a little lesser quality, which is going to bump up your speed and it's not actually going to affect your site that much. But in regarding of speed, it's going to bump up that speed. So it's always better to just um, turn on all the image optimization settings. And once you're happy with that, once you're done with that, click on save changes. So uh, over here with WordPress image quality, so 100 is like the best quality that you can get with WordPress. I have set it to 82, so that's good enough for me. Of course, if you're a photographer or you're someone who needs like the really high quality images, this is not for you. you because it is going to less, uh, lesser up your, uh, si uh, your images quality. So you don't have to do this if you, if you need those high quality images. Next is database. So once you go into your database, you can change your optimization settings from here. We have already done an uh, article and a video on database optimization. Go check that out. And once you do that, you'll be able to do uh, database optimization to just the next level next is let's click on the general tab uh, no the page optimization tab okay so in page optimization in css settings you if your css minify is turned off you need to turn this on 
So by minifying your CSS, you're essentially removing all the empty spaces between the code and removing the comments between the code and you are increasing the loading time, the speed of the site and once you do that, click on save changes. In the same way, in the JS settings, click on that and just turn on your uh, JS minify, JS, uh, I mean JavaScript minify. So it, in the same way, it's going to minify your JavaScript. Once you're happy with that, click on save changes and these two steps is going to speed up your site even more. So as you guys can see that with just one plugin, we, are, we have speed up our site to an amazing, amazing amount. So this is how you can essentially speed up your site using Lightspeed Cache. Of course, with Cyber Panel, you are going to get Lightspeed Cache by default. But if you don't have Lightspeed Cache, I highly recommend that you get it for your site and get it activated, installed and activated. And it's going to do a lot uh, good for your website. So I hope this uh, video was really helpful for you guys. If you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Cyber Panel.